The Rockets just offered Harden two years at fifty million a year, on top of the one thirty three they already owe him, and he turned it down. He wants to come to the Nets, but the Rockets aren't going to give him to the Nets because the one leverage that the Rockets have is that both of the guys are under contract. Now, they also say they're going to try to play it back, which means they'll make another run at the title. You don't play it back and trade Robert Covington for Trevor Ariza in a first-round draft pick. That's not playing it back. You're weakening your team for 2021. Now, another aspect why Nick fan, I'm going back and forth, the Knicks and the Nets, you got to keep that cap space open for Giannis. Giannis disappeared today. The moves that the Bucks made, okay, they had to make those moves with the assurance that Giannis is going to sign his his big money extension because they just mortgaged the next five years of first-round draft picks to get the players that they got. So Giannis is not going to be an option. He's not going to be a free agent. So if you wait for him, it's like waiting for LeBron. Everybody the Knicks have waited for, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fruitless wait. So, again, if the Knicks could get Westbrook at a decent price, do it. And it's not going to be a decent price for the Nets, and I still think you should do it because even if they don't win the title, they're going to be really entertaining. Let's listen to Woj. He was on SportsCenter, and he was asked, how could Harden end up in Brooklyn? If Harden decides that Brooklyn is the place he wants to be and really starts to push the organization on it, you know, I think that's the momentum that it's going to take to get him uh, to New York. You know, Brooklyn has uh, some assets and young players and potential picks and all those things that you're going to want, uh, but a player of James Harden's caliber, Houston's going to have to get a monster haul back to justify trading, uh, you know, maybe one of the two or three best players in the NBA. All right, now Woj was then asking the Nets afford the three of them. They have an owner in Brooklyn and Joe Sy who is willing to go deep in luxury tax and having three max players and a player like Joe Harris, you're going to have to re-sign in this offseason. Mm -hmm. It would be an expensive proposition. There aren't a lot of teams in this pandemic right now who would be willing to spend the way the Nets would be to have to do, to do a deal like this, take on Harden's money long term. Now, one other thing that we should mention about Joe Sy, he operates his company out of China and they just changed a lot of their rules. And he lost a, a truckload of money. I don't know how much that's going to mean. One other thing to hear from our very own Jay Williams, who's part of the morning show here. He was on with Barton Hahn, though. And he said if the Nets get hardened, they are the title favorites, even over the Lakers. This can't be the old school Mike Dane Tony way of Houston. If, that, if that's the case, then they're just going to be another version of Houston. I mean, I, I think that's so good, but I don't think that wins you a world championship. This has to be a blend of what Steve Nash wants to do. And everything I've known about Steve, spending time with him in New York, spending Time with him in Brooklyn is that I, I think Steve, there's more of a continuity. Like, if there's one guy that had the ball in his hands a lot, that was Steve. But now when you have James and and Kai and Katie together, like there has to be a little bit of that blend of that Golden State offense with that Mike D'Antoni offense. And if that's the case, man, I don't know how you don't have them the favorite to win it all.